I've randomized everything, and I'm gonna try and beat this jumbled up version of Pokemon Scarlet while also using a hardcore Nuzlocke rule set. First things first, we gotta choose our starters, and they don't look like they're randomized, but don't worry, once I select them, they definitely will be. So we'll go with the tried and true Free Coco. He'll never let me down. And there's my Fue Coco, which will soon become not that. Oh, into the Pokeball it goes, and something completely different will come out. All right, and it's time for the big reveal. Here we go, come out my starter! Ooh, a Larvitar! Ooh, you're not gonna be helpful until way later on, but I still love you, little guy. You can be the mascot. Naruto runs. And after dressing myself up and quickly realizing that school is for losers and nerds like these losers and nerds, it's time to begin our randomized adventure. But first, these Pokemon have randomized abilities as well, and Caro, the Larvitar, has battery, which is <laughs> it's just useless, but great. Fantastic. And off we go. The randomizer has truly begun. Can only catch the first Pokemon I see in each area, which- No. No way! This was the first thing to pop up. You can't be serious, dude. Hello, Dialga. How are you doing? Any chance you just want to stay in the ball and not be difficult about this at all? Maybe you do. Oh, no. No shot. Oh, no. He broke out. Um, okay. This could be dangerous, actually. Scary face. Yeah, uh, I might not be able to get this because I'm scared of dying immediately. Okay, throw one more Pokeball. This is definitely gonna be the- Oh, he broke out immediately. Okay, this is not gonna help. I would injure you, but I'm too scared that you're just gonna attack immediately. Oh, he's not gonna stay in that ball, is he? Okay, I'm gonna throw one more, and then I'm just gonna run away, because I really don't want to die. Okay, that's fine, Dialga. We don't have to be friends. I'll just run away. That's okay. He definitely has Metal Claw at this level, so that's fine. I'll just leave the god of time right there. Enjoy your picnic, buddy. <laughs> All right, not the most ideal start to a randomizer, but if this route is anything to go by, we have so many more good options that we can come across. So I'm just gonna head back to the first route and see what we can see. Area one, what have you got for me? A primate, now that's a good start. And thankfully, a lot easier to catch as well. Let's have a closer look at- Ah! He has Gorilla Tactics. That's basically a choice item, but it's the ability. Oh my god, that's so good. I'd also like to head back to the first cave to see- Oh, hi, Garatina. To see if there's anything good in the first cave. Oh, I bet there's some power lurking in here, isn't there? In the cave? Oh, oh, wait. Hi, Rotom. I guess you're our first encounter. And... Fantastic! Rotom is on the team as well. Is that floor just in the background? Now, GBL, what is your randomized ability? Parental bonds? This ability took Kangaskhan from being the laughing stock of the Kanto region to being Uber's level in Generation 6. Don't mind if I do. Now, I am feeling a lot more confident to take on that first gym now. Now, unfortunately for my doctor, who keeps begging me not to raise my stress levels anymore, I'm doing this run as a hardcore Nuzlocke, which means the Pokemon dies, it's dead, you guys know this, but also, I can't switch out in between Pokemon and I can't heal during battle either. And I know less about what her team is gonna be than I do about quadratic equations or football or how to have a stable relationship, which is to say, not not very much. So I guess we're just gonna find out together. It's a Vaporeon. It is such a good thing that I led with the GBL. I knew he's gonna be the strongest member of our team. I also gave him the wise glasses because he's a smart little fella. So our Thundershock should be doing a huge amount of damage with Parental Bond, two chances to paralyze. Oh, you baton pass. That's actually quite smart, to be honest. Armor Rouge. Wait, is that the... Oh. Oh, no! Okay, it just started raining. I think that's gonna weaken Fire-type moves. I really hope that it does. Fire Spin comes out, but we resist this. Come on, Caro. I'm actually just gonna Terrasalize Rock Slide. He went for Fire Spin again. Okay, that's good. That's not gonna do much damage. Come on, Caro. Tell me this Rock Slide's doing huge damage here, please. Kill it in one shot. Oh, it's so close! He misses Fire Spin, and we land the next Rock Slide. Okay, that was really scary. Why'd you have to have an Armor Rouge already, Casey? Vaporeon comes back out, but I still got GBL here, so even though I just got Sand Attack, I'm pretty sure we should be able to kill it in two shots. There's shot number one and shot number two. Perfect. Now, the last one's gonna terrestrialize, so I really hope it's not, you know, big, scary, or anything along those lines. It's a bloody Quaxly. Look at you. Well, that's actually perfect. I did get sand attacked a few times, but as long as I land these thunder shocks, you're gonna be dead. Quaxly has Aqua Jet already? That's pretty strong. Okay, we tank it. That's a crit, though. Thunder shock. Come on. Big damage. That's almost a kill. And we got the paralysis. We tank another Aqua Jet. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. 
no. Okay, we missed. That's not good. Come on, GBL lives on three. Please don't miss this time. Yes. All right. Fantastic. That was a little scary for the first match, but GBL came through. Thank you, Casey, you gorgeous lady. All right, now on the way to Grass Brassius Town. Let's see what we can find. Is that a Pikachu? I saw a Pikachu. Oh my God, Guy Cooker. <laughs> Wait, is this Pikachu my encounter? Oh, that's not. So it's the Magnemite then. Dude, <laughs> Unfortunately, the Magnemite was the first thing that I saw, so I have to get that one. Well, that was pretty easy. I've named this Magnemite Kyogre. No other reason than just wishful thinking, I suppose. Oh, it has sharpness. Powers up slicing moves? You ever seen a sharp magnet before in your life? All right, well, uh, see you later, Kyogre. I'll... Oh, damn it. Now we're finally on our way to Brassius. I feel pretty good with the... Oh, hey, Volcanion. New team that we have. But we do have two electric types, which kind of concerns me. Did that Delphox just fall out the... Are you good? Man, I'm sure I'll be fine. It's not like they're going to have any ground types. Right, Brassius? All right, Windmill Town it is. Looks like the Sunflora didn't get randomized, which makes sense. Imagine having 17 Groudon just walking around the town. I am imagining that, and that does seem really cool. I wish I did that. All right, let's take on this gym leader. Gym leader number two, Brassius. Look at him up there with his turbo legs. God, I wish I had legs like that. All I have is chronic back pain. And unfortunately, I can't use that in a battle. But he starts with a Sneasel. That's not so bad. As long as he doesn't have an ice type move. So I got GBL on the front. Start with a nice, easy thunder shock. Oh, yeah, scratch. Okay, that's not scary. You taunted me. Quick, <laughs> I'll go over there and kick the Sneasel in the noggin. <laughs> unfortunately, it died before I could get there. But I wanted to. Don't forget that. And Oranguru as well. Okay, I'll I like this variety we've got going on here. This is nice. Oh no, it's it's, it's calm mining. Okay, that's bad. And I'm taunted so I can't use Confuse Ray like I wanted to. Uh-oh. Apparently someone thought it was a good idea to give this thing stored power as well. Oh, please stop this. No, I wanted to paralyze you, but you taunted again. No. My only choice is to do as much damage as humanly possible. And that gyro ball did nothing. Oh no, here comes the first stored power. Oh my god, Kyogre died in one hit! That's a crit! Okay, I really only have one option, and that's to Terrasalize Primate with Gorilla Tactics and a Muscle Band and hope that Low Kick does enough damage somehow to kill this. If I can't, then I think we just get swept. Come on, Primate, please tell me you've got enough power here. The Low Kick does. Oh, it does enough! Wow! Okay, if that didn't kill, he would have killed Primeape, and then that's it. I just, I'm just done. Woo! Jesus Christ. I'll call this work truly Wudo. That is <laughs> Brassius, mate. That is, that is a horse. Oh my God, wait, it's, what type is it? Is that rock type? Wait, I thought you were ice type. Wait, how are you a rock type terrestrialization? What? Oh, cause the gym. I'm in it. But wait, the Quaxley in the other gym was a water type. So how does this work? R just barely hangs on. Monkey C, monkey strong. Okay. That, that was a really scary gym battle, but we managed to make it out with only one death, which somehow was my massive raging Kyogre. But there's gym number two. Hopefully the other ones are less stressful. They would not be less stressful. But it looks like the Sag box is getting their first member. No, no, Sub Noodle, don't look. Don't, it's... It's too sad. Wow, what a beautiful night. Look at the star in the sky over there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, what's our first encounter in our next route? It seems that there are absolutely no Pokemon in this route whatsoever. So I would, oh, Pineco. Pineco! Come on, this is a rude right there. Fine, whatever, fine. I will sacrifice you if necessary. All right, it's a rude seal here, I guess. But there is another area, area two that I can go to right now, is there? I know that there's something down here on the beach in East Province, area two, and it's a, it's a Fampy. Great, a Fampy. <laughs> At least I have a ground type now. That's good for Iono, cause she's electric type, right? But much like a young child that thinks petting a random cat with rabies that they found on the street is a good idea, I could be making a mistake here. But I don't know, listen, if you've not got any electric types on your team, don't worry, I can still bring the electric. I can still do that for you. Give me a battle that electrify all my viewer pals. Well, I I mean, if you insist, it would be rude of me not to, wouldn't it? Okay, let's just terrestrialize electric, shall we? I mean, keep this in mind, I don't know. You did ask for this. Strudel dies immediately, then wiggly comes in and I think it should also probably die pretty quickly to an electro ball or two. Does go for a double edge and mm, that's some big damage to be honest. Not a huge fan of that. But as long as I keep throwing out those electro balls, there's not much you can really do about it, Iono, to be honest. What a shocking turn of events. Now the electric is on the other foot, Iono. And that shelter is definitely dead. What is your last mod? I figured out how the terrestrialization works in this randomizer. See, it's gonna be a random terror type every single time. So it's not gonna be the same 
same type as the Pokemon. It could be anything. But I think it's always a type of a move that that Pokemon has. So they'll always get some kind of Terra Stab boost, which is terrifying for me. It's really scary. Like there's a Brute Bonnet in front of me right now. And it could be Terra Grass. It could be Terra Dark. It could be Terra anything else. But let's see. It's Terra Ghost. Oh, that's great. My premium can't do anything to this. But it's fine. I believe in GBL with the Electro Balls. Ooh, that does a decent amount of damage. Not a huge amount, but decent. And you go for a Mega Drain, which doesn't really do all that much. That's good. Thank you. Okay, if I keep tossing Electro Balls your way, I'll eventually win, I think. Uh-oh, okay. That's an Astonish. That's a little bit more scary, not gonna lie. Oh, that does so much damage. But wait, one more Electro Ball. That should kill it with Parental Bond. Oh, God. I don't know. I didn't calculate this. I don't know. I think it's gonna kill. Oh, please tell me this kills. Brute Bonnet. Oh, no. Go down to the Parental Bond. Please die to the Parental Bond. Oh, my God. Okay. That was close. We could have lost Rotom right there. But we did it. We didn't lose anyone. Fantastic. How was that, Iono? Was that electrifying enough for you? <laughs> I have to be honest, another gym badge for me? I'm completely unshocked. It's been a long day of getting gym badges, and oh, oh, Carol, are you happy about that? Let's go and get ourselves a wee bit of a snack. And on the way, let's not forget to- wait, area one. I already failed this encounter! I thought it was three. Oh, three's up there. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to Cap Shamons we go. I lost my Rotom, and I'm feeling kind of glum. Hi-ho, and now we're in area three. Three, which is pretty barren. Oh no, no way. Is that, is that a Mew just standing there? Hi buddy. I mean, okay. You like quick balls, Mew? No, all right. I love how there's a snake just in the background, <laughs> big <laughs> chilling while I catch the ancestor of all Pokemon. Let's play a game. How many great balls will it take to capture this Mew? Post your guesses in the comments now. We've already used one. There goes two. Wait, is it? No, there's three, four, five, six. There goes ball number 10. If you answered 14, then you are correct. And Jonathan is so happy that we caught a Mew. It's immediately evolving, which is ironic because it's also going immediately into the PC. Wow, you evolved into a fortress? That's great! Bugger off! So I can use my Mew now with Commander? It goes inside the mouth of an ally Dondozo. What? <laughs> this Mew has some weird fetishes. All right, snacky time. Yes, I'd like your biggest cock, please. What? Cock is the secret menu item? All right, Larry, I'm ready to... Oh my god, that's a Haxorus. Yeah, let's not go too hard. I agree, Larry. Let's not go too hard. Let me just go for a little cross chop and see how much damage that does. Oh, I'm somehow out of speed. Come on. Ooh, it's not enough damage though. She dance, don't start this. Larry says, let's not go too hard. Larry also dragon dances and attempts to take my head off. Oh God, break and swipe. Please tell me you survived this. Ah, uh, we do. Just don't, for the love of God, do not miss. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that was <laughs> the scariest thing I've seen in the gym so far. Okay, do what? That's that's more manageable. It's all right, I have my flying fetus here. You can quite easily giga drain it. Not quite a kill, but almost. But there's a guaranteed 0% chance that I'm gonna take any kind of damage from this thing. Oh, I'm confused. The only thing I'm confused about is why you thought a do what was good enough to kill my Mew. I'm also confused as to why I didn't nickname Mew yet. I need to get on that. That's not a death flag. It'll definitely survive the battle and I'll be able to nickname it. It's not a death flag. And you have another water type mid -valu. That's weird. And it's Terra fighting. Oh, oh, you idiot. I am literally a psychic type, you moron. Give me that gym badge. I am still quite sad I didn't get the cock sampler, though. But at least Hypothermia is here, so we can battle against her. All right, let's see what you've got, Mus Palamas. Or a boot! The best mid-volution starter. Smart. Or maybe not so smart, because it just got critted. And Palafin, you're a zero who will never amount to anything. On really? You want another one? Are you sure? Well, what person would I be to turn a zero down? Would I? That'd be a terrible person. I wouldn't do that. Oh, just a casual iron moth. Where'd you find that? But it's all right. This is why we have Earthquake on Caro, isn't it? Oh, easy one shot. Oh no, the ace is a cricket tune. He's gonna whoop my ass. I'm just kidding. Beating this thing was peanuts. All right, mitochondria, go on. Off you go. I'll see you again somewhere else. I mean, what are you so angry about? Seriously. Taxes. Taxes. You're a Pokemon. You don't even pay tax. Ah, and he's dead. He got so angry that he died. And he got the sheer force ability. I was going to be sad that he was losing Gorilla Tactics, but I don't know. I feel like this is pretty good too. And speaking of dying, he did it just in time because we're going to battle Rhyme. It's Rhyme time battle time. I'm a little bit scared of this battle, which is thematic because, of course, it's a double battle, which makes it very scary. Let's see what she leads off with. It's Zarude and Cloth. You have a Zarude? Oh, a Zarude with Intrepid Sword, so it gets more attack. 
That's awesome! The best part about Zarud is that it hard counters my entire team. Okay, I'm gonna switch out Caro immediately. Don't want you to stay in here. Baguette should hopefully be safe this turn. Goes for a grass knot. That's perfect. Yes, that's exactly what I needed. We tanked that nice. And now, ah, oh, goes for a quad effective U turn, which, oh, so close to killing, so close. And now I'll just use a Pokemon that has a priority move. I don't have any Pokemon with any priority moves, but I do have Mew that also has U turn. Oh, Cloth has X's out. I really need to U turn. Oh my god, Baguette's in trouble. My Mew speed. Heroes! Why did you buff me? I mean, I'm not really angry. I'm just a little bit confused, but at least the Zarud's dead, so hey ho, we take those. And we bring back. Oh, who absolutely tanks an X Scissor. Oh, you have a fairy type too. That's good. Then I'll switch out Baguette again and I'll go back into Caro. We'll terrestrialize. Kill the Tinker Tink. Nice and easy. And Cloth can't do a thing to Caro. Brilliant. Oh, you terrestrialize in Venomoth? Wait, what is that going to turn into, though? Okay, so Venomoth turns into... What is that? Is that Rock-type? I think it is Rock-type. Oh, that is that is perfect, Venomoth. Thank you. Cloth gets cracked open for some delicious crab soup. And then... Ah, finishes off the Venomoth with a close combat as well. Beautiful! And with gym badge number six obtained, there's a whole snowy mountain that we can catch things on. Right up to the tippity peak of the mountain. I'm gonna find something sick up here. Oh, what's that? Backscalibur! I mean, not not quite, but like, almost. It's the little baby version. You like a quick ball? It has a nice blue on it. You like, oh, wow, he did not like it, Jesus. I just noticed there's an Articuno in the distance. This is so valid. It's so thematic, it's beautiful. This is taking way more Pokeballs than I really wanted it to. Why are you so hard to catch? This is officially taking more Pokeballs than Mew did. Just stay, please, just stay, just, yes, thank you. Oh my God, thank you. And with that, Archibald joins our party. Sorry, Peanuts. It has Storm Drain, which makes it immune to water, which is very cool. But it's also cool for one very important reason that you may have missed. See, our little friend Archibald here is also an ice type Pokemon. And it took me until now now to nickname Mew. Whoops. So in honor of that, I'm going to call it Forgore. I would have put a skull next to it, but Game Freak isn't based enough to allow me to use emojis in nicknames yet. I'm like Usain Bolt climbing this mountain, or someone else who's really good at climbing mountains. Margaret Thatcher. Look upon its Coridon. Everything the light touches is made of Play-Doh. Brand new area. The first thing I see when I drop is going to be I encounter, and it's... A group of sand castles. Alrighty then. Thank you, Palo Sand. See, that's how you're supposed to be caught. In one ball. Look at this lazy bugger just lying around in the shade. Must be nice. Get a real job. Oh, mate, you've got to fix your posture. I'm excited to get gym number seven badge right now. Oh, great. Mesopotamia's back. I love that even though I have all of these semi-pseudo legendaries on my team. I still always lead with, ah! My pseudos are not fully evolved yet. They're like an egg waiting to be turned into a delicious soup. Setting up a light screen, nyan yum yum yum. Uh, very smart, very smart indeed. Uh-oh, uh I'm in my queue time. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to U-turn on this. I am glad I don't have to Gorilla Tactics now, actually, because I wouldn't be able to do that if I still had Gorilla Tactics. Oh no, I have no answer to Mimikyu. All right, Carol, how about you? Looking pretty good so far. No, he's mimicking me. He's gonna steal all my YouTube video ideas. I mean, come on, I spent a long time thinking of these ideas. You can't just steal them, they're mine. I'll have to kill you before you can thievery. And it's dead, brilliant. Oh, a Toxicroak. Well, I have the perfect answer for that. Toxicroak use Toxic. Wow, what a shocker. You must be feeling real special right now, aren't you? Peepo delito that Peepo is Fito. Unfortunately, I'm Toxic, which is less than ideal when my goal is staying alive. But uh, <laughs> I may be wrong, but I don't think we've got much to worry from this little thing. Oh no, don't terrestrialize the sun, Kern. The Pokemon has a crack and absolutely massive lowest base stat of any Pokemon in the entire franchise. That's true, look it up. And oh my god, it, it didn't survive. No, I didn't think it would. Now it's time to fight Stacy's mom for an actual battle. A battle that will be over in five turns. Turn number one. I use Shadow Claw against a male combi and immediately annihilate it. Then an Ursaluna comes out, but I'm not scared because I'm a big brave boy, so I terrestrialize ah, and then smack you with a boosted cross chop for ultimate damage, killing you immediately. Jesus Christ. And now you for some reason have a nimble. Oh, this poor little critter. I, I almost feel bad about that. Almost. That's turn number three. Now a terrestrialize and Torkoal comes in. And it's a Terra. Wait, is that rock? 
Why are you always rock? But yes, turn number four, where I'll use the Terrasle's cross chop, but the Toko will survive because it has a high defense. I get burned by a flamethrower. That's not good. How am I predicting everything that's happening? Am I doing post commentary? No. And I can prove it. See, like, like uh, up, 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 down. But now on turn five, like I said, I'll finish this fight with a close combat. See, what did I tell you? Five turns to finish the fight. And I was right. I just have game sense on another level. Where I made a really lucky guess. <laughs> Wowie, can you believe it? Only one badge left. Uh, I feel like I should get another encounter before I go here, though. I mean, I suppose I've not been down to the massive lake yet. Let's let's go down to the massive lake. Wow, now that's a big lake. While I'm flying over there, this is the perfect opportunity for you to make sure that you're hydrated. It's very important that you drink water to stay hydrated and keep yourself healthy. Also, subscribe to the channel. What are you doing? You're so far into the video. I'm gonna land right in the middle of the lake and just see what drowns around me. Hello, brothers and sisters. I will join you in the witter. Okay, and wait, what's that? What's that? Vuvuzela? I'm sorry, I thought this was a randomizer. There we go. All right, I captured Venezuela. Okay, all the way back up the mountains we go. I wonder if there'll be some kind of training that happens between now and then, what will cause my Pokemon to evolve I'm flying there. You cannot convince me that Sneasla does not look like a man just in a furry suit. No, I'm sure it was a very expensive suit. Oh God, no, 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 it's like $2,000. I understand, you put a lot of effort into this. It looks really nice. I won't steal your OC, I promise. However, I did murder it and harvest its delicious experience points to make sure that I could evolve into a guard chomp though. And Baguette's new ability is Soul Heart. Boost special attack every time another Pokemon faints. Wait, I could take advantage of this. I can kill things with physical moves. I also have a modest guard chomp. Wait, oh my God, this is so good. Okay, I've successfully turned my guard chomp into a special attack in powerhouse and this is gonna be fantastic. Mitochondria, do you wanna come on a wonderful snow-filled adventure holiday with me? No. Oh, okay. No, that's that's okay. I'll just, I'll go by myself. That's fine. Because there's nothing wrong with going on holiday by yourself. You should be the best company that you like, that, that you want it, that you hang out with. And Melanoma would probably complain about it being too cold or something. I didn't even want her here. I only asked her because I felt bad for her. Ah, the gym leader. I've come to destroy your team, Sid Toddle. Our fight will be legendary. Oh, <clears throat> ah, the gym leader. I've come to destroy your children. Our fight will be legendary. All right, Grusha, I've been waiting all game to use this Garchomp. It has Soul Heart, that's amazing. Jonathan, is that you? You betrayed us and joined the enemy? Also, I didn't leave the Garchomp. <laughs> Silly me, I can't believe Jonathan would betray us like this. It's because I told him to bugger off, isn't it? Oh, you're actually doing a little bit of damage to that Gyro Ball, aren't you? Very nice. Unfortunately, I think my Soul Heart Garchomp is strong enough to sweep now. The first time I can ever use this thing. Oh yeah, now that's... That's what I'm talking about. Oh, what's that? Do you have a Lycan Rockwood? It would be a shame if I were to surf you. It would be a big shame. Oh no, there he goes. It was at this moment that Grusha started peeing and crying like a baby. <laughs> and there goes Tandemouse. I killed two of them. Do I get two soul heart boosts? No, only one. Wow, what a ripoff. And your last Pokemon is a Cyclozar with slow start. Oh no, I feel so bad. I'm sorry, that precious little flower is not going anywhere anytime soon. Slow star, what a terrible ability to have randomized to. Oh, that's, that's gotta be painful, Grusha. How are you the last gym leader? And with that, now it's Elite Four time. And Mas Palamas and Gita is coming to congratulate me. Don't worry guys, I'll be right along to the Elite Four. I just need to do a little bit of evolutionizing first. Like first off, our starter Caro is evolving finally in into a Tyranitar. It's finally usable. Please don't have slow start. Please don't have slow start. Please don't have truant. Please don't have slow start. And it has contact with Tangling Hair. Oh, oh. That's, that's all right, that's okay. Also, when I go through this door, I can technically catch the first encounter that pops up. So what's the first thing? Oh, it's a Toxtricity! I saw it drop down from the skies. It came down from the heavens like a blessing on earth. All right, now I have a backup if everything goes horribly wrong in the Elite Four. But speaking of the Elite Four, we have one more evolution that we have to do. Oh, hi, Polka. Before we go in there, we cannot forget about the balds. Now that is a squad. And your ability is Hypercutter. Can't lower the attack stat. Well, I suppose the attack stat is pretty so much the most important thing on back Scalabar, so I suppose that that is good, isn't it? It's good. All right, Elite Four time. Here we go. The heck is this? Hi, please take a seat. This is your champion assessment to see if you're good to go into the Elite Four. Oh, okay. okay. I'm just gonna ask you some simple questions here. Uh, do you smoke? No. Do you like cars? No. 
Do you do the hokey pokey, then you turn around? No. Have you ever killed a man? No. Yes or no? No. And the last question, what is 7 times 15? I hate maths. All right, perfect score. Go ahead. All right, Rika, let's get it bloody started. It's Elite Four time. And she leads with a rufflet. See, the thing about a randomizer is it doesn't necessarily make it harder. Sometimes it makes it a little bit easier. Oh, well, get rid of you the cross job, brilliant. Thank God, what's next? Oh, a killer watch roll. Okay, that's slightly harder. Should be able to go for a U-turn here, though. <gasps> hurricane. Uh oh, 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 that's gonna hurt. Oh, he lived on 30. It was a crit hurricane. Crikey or Mikey. All right, now we go straight into Caro. Oh, my God, you're so threatening. Your speed is pointless when I can rock slut mist. And you volt switch, dude. You're actually smart. <laughs> oh, no. No, don't throw in the nimble. Oh, no, I feel... I feel bad now. I've just murdered a small child. And now a Sinisty as well? Okay, thankfully, you're not all filled with Ubers. Yes, bring that killer water out. This is what you get for scaring me. A cock to the fa uh, a rock to the face. And your terror Pokemon is Baxcalibur. Oh, that's interesting. That's funny. I thought the other Elite Four member had that. You've been stealing from Hassel, have you? Please be ice type, please be ice type. Poison? What? But wait, I'm gonna be Terra Rock. So I should be able to win this? Tangle and Hair drops his speed. Rock Slide does half damage. And then Earthquake finishes off the back Scalibur, which means Elite Four member number one is done. All right, it's baby time now. I'm gonna make a prediction that she has all pre evolved Pokemon. Fletch into. Okay, that's not fully evolved, so that, I mean, that, that counts, right? And that did not last long at all. And a Persian. Well, if you count Gigantamax Meowth, it... No, it's not. It's not pre-evolved at all. And it also had Slow Star, and that's just so sad. And a Glaceon. Well, if, if you think about the fact that Eevee has a lot of evolutions, actually, you could argue that it is a pre-evolved Pokemon. Oh, nice crit. I thought that was way too quick for a one-shot. Oh, Skeledurge. Okay, I think this requires a Terra Glaive Rush. Oh, wait, if Glaive Rush doesn't kill, it's gonna do double damage to me next. Next turn. So I would really like it if you were to kill with Glaive Rush Archibalds. That would be awesome. Oh my god, you're so strong! I can't believe how powerful Mold is. We've accumulated the strongest team through the whole region. Aw, baby moment. I'm sorry, Poppy. <laughs> I lied. I'm not actually that sorry. Lying to children is so easy. They're so gullible and stupid. But not Larry. He is neither gullible nor stupid. He has a mouse hold. An imposter. Oh my god, it's... It's Mozilla's imposter! Wait, that means it's gonna steal my typings and my soul heart. So if I lose Baguette, then I could get swept here. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to immediately panic and terrestrialize into a ground type so it doesn't have anything super effective on me again, apart from Surf. But it's not gonna use Surf because it still thinks that I'm a dragon and ground type. So it should go for the super effective move, Dragon Pulse, but I tear it into a ground type, so Dragon Pulse is not super effective. I use Dragon Pulse on it, it dies, I'm safe. Come on, oh, okay, it, it survives. It did go for the Dragon Pulse. My plan is working, yes, fantastic. And now I can finish it off with a second Dragon Pulse. Oh, okay. Don't steal my Pokemon like that. And now with the Soul Heart boost. Oh yeah, everything's coming up Millhouse now. Oh, I tried to Earth Power this Atena and it has Levitate. Wow, I just got played. Looks like I'll just have to burn you to a crisp then. And a Terra Pseudo Widow, which is, wait, what type is that? Oh, is that Steel? Ooh, that's rough. I did just click Earth Power. Ooh, sucks for you. And the Pseudo Widow exploded. It's okay, trees spontaneously combust like that all the time. Well, Larry, you gave me best shot. Unfortunately for you, I'm big and strong and have massive muscles and everybody likes me and always talks about how everybody, like, I'm, I don't have big muscles. And now there's just Hassel left. And the cool thing about fighting Hassel is that he's not gonna have a Terra Pokemon because Riku already stole it. Oh, leading off with an Azel. As I lead off with, ah! I could be risky and staying in Shadow Claw, but I could also switch out into my Tyranitar, which is definitely safer. Or I could U-turn like a top G. Oh wait, Psychic, wait, hold on. We can tank one, surely. Oh, wow, that's stronger than I thought it would be. I'm fairly sure that an Azel can't do a single thing to me right now, right? A uh, opera? I keep it down, man, I've got tinnitus. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? Take it out of here, how dare you? Remember, if someone is yelling really loudly, just bite them. It'll work every time. Uh-oh, that's a Slay King. And that is a Slay King with a randomized ability, so it doesn't have, uh-oh. All right, let's see, maybe I can get a nice little flinch. That didn't do too much damage. Counter, no! Oh, Caro, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, new plan, I'll switch out into Mew. That should be safe. A Mega Kick, oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I dodged it, I'm so lucky. I'm gonna use a Nasty Plot to make sure that Psychic can kill next turn, because I should be able to outspeed it. That Mega Kick is gonna hurt, though. Oh, that does so much. Okay, come on, Psychic, please kill. 
Well, yes. Okay, plus two is enough to take out. If that was his Terra Pokemon, I would have been buggered. Oh, look, it's cute. You got the little belly ball. So you're going to be able to tank a Psychic from a plus two? Oh, you can. Wow. Electric Terrain. What do you have, like a Tapu Koko in the back or something? That just means I can't sleep now, which is fine because I've never slept. Oh, touch the ground. Gravity will never defeat me. Ooh, a Terra Overquill with Vessel of Ruin? Weaken the special attack of all surrounding Pokemon. Wait, that's me. I'm surrounding it. Okay, Overquill, please. Just wait, this thing's a dark type, isn't it? I thought it was just poison water. Oh, I've made a mistake. Wait, don't turn into a dark type. Turn it. Terrasalize isn't just a poison type for me, please. Yes. Wait, is that, is that ghost? Wait, I can, I can hit that. I can hit that. If he just stayed a dark type, I would have done no damage. You fool. Oh, he lived. Okay. Oh, he went for acupressure. What's he going to do next? His accuracy rose. Oh, no. Now he can accurately see how badly he just lost to me. Yeah, see you later, Robocoil. That thing is scary, though. I love it. And there goes the Elite Four members. Now we're going to have a real champion time, aren't we? We've had some close calls so far, but I'm ready for the champion match. And she starts with a uh, Gotharita. Dude. They're twins. Ah, can deal with this pretty easily. Oh, there it goes. And a Hippopotas. Yeah, you can really tell why Gita became the champion. She's on a level well advanced beyond other trainers. Oh, wow, you took that really well. <laughs> All right, Hippo, I'll see you later. She's clapping at the fact that I'm abusing her animals. What a nice individual. Is Gita not going to have a single fully evolved Pokemon? <laughs> Wait, is this the fully evolved one? I, I can't even tell. I don't think so. Psychic Surge. Come on, champion. Bring out your legendaries. Bring out your Ubers. Oh, no, I was kidding. Don't bring out your Ubers. Put your Ubers back. We don't want them here. Okay, I'm cross chop. I should outspeed it. Is R gonna one shot it? Please, 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 please. Oh my god, you're so good. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, no wonder. Definitely think that one mattered. And a pin churchin. Where, where are you finding these? I'll send it straight back to hell where it deserves to be. Pin churchin, the most disgusting of all of the Pokemon. Going back in the ground where you see you later. Now it's time for the champion's ace. The strongest Pokemon that the champion has access to. Possibly the strongest Pokemon in the country. And it's a... Uh, oh. <laughs> Look at its awesome power and potential. Gaze upon its life-ending savagery. It's Fungus. And it's dead. Gita, surprisingly, was a disappointment. But that's not where it ends. We've got more to go. We still have membranes to fight. This will be a good warm-up for the real final battle. Ah, yes, you can see on my face, I'm looking very confident. <laughs> it's not an emulator glitch. It's my power radiating from me. Oh, leads with a Luxray. Nice choice. I lead with a... Ah! Now, let's see. I'm pretty sure a little cross chop here should do the business. Oh, it does a lot but not quite kill. And you scary face me, so I won't outspeed you next turn. Smart. And then you T-wave me, so I won't outspeed you next turn. Okay. Unfortunately, you're already dead, so that doesn't really help you. Oh, a Vivalon, I see. You're gonna try and quiver dance in front of me, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't allow that to happen. Oh, Hurricane, okay. Don't get confused. We'll be absolutely fine here. Brilliant. Thank you, Caro. That's awesome. I throw a little rocks, and it's dead. Pneumonia, you did not teach me type matchups. Because if you really knew type matchups, you'd know that Rock Slide is still super effective on Cloyster. Oh, but wait, I'm confused. Oh, I made, I made a mistake here. No, we do get the rock slide off. It does. Ooh, a lot of damage. Wait, I I, I can't swap out? Wait, why can I not swap out? What's what's... <gasps> Does Cloyster have Shadow Tag? Wait, so I'm locked in against the Cloyster that has super effective moves, and I'm confused. But the Tangling has slowed down the Cloyster, so I can outspeed this turn. I just need to not hit myself in confusion, and I can kill it. Please, me don't miss. Okay. Oh, oof, oof. Okay, that was scary a little bit there. Oh, you have a Cyclozar as well. Does that... Oh, no, this one also has slow start. <laughs> oh, he's trying to shift gear to not be as slow. That's precious. But, mate, I'm sorry. I don't think it's going to work out for you very well. Yes. Oh, he lived on one. And he shift geared again. Okay, wait, he's getting kind of scary now actually. If he gets out of slow start, then I am dead. And at plus four speed, he's probably gonna outspeed me now. Come on, baguettes. No, cyclos all goes for Dragon Rush. And... Ooh, misses. Ooh, that's that's rough. Slow start also drops your attack, so I probably could have lived it, but that's a unfortunate one for you, because now I power up with a soul heart boost. And that's a that's a glass trier. Okay. I mean, I can probably one-shot it with a plus one flamethrower, I imagine. Oh. Oh, that wasn't even close. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He went for taunts? What are you doing? I mean, if you insist, I guess I'll attack. Thank you, Glastria. All right, Pneumonia. Let's see what your last Pokemon is. It's a Mew? We're twinsies. I also have a Mew. But Mew can learn every single move. I have no idea what you're going to terrestrialize into right now. Could be Psychic. Could be Water. Could be Fire. Could be Psychic again. I went for Earth Power, so I really hope it's not flying. It is Psychic. Oh, Terra Psychics are coming through. Okay. We go for the Earth Power. It's boosted. Dude, that's so boosted and it did, like, no damage. Oh, my God. He's nasty plotting. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Earth Power, get a high roll or a Chris. Oh, it lived on one again. And then he went for an Ancient Power. Because he's trying to get the boost to outspeed me next time. Oh, okay, you didn't get the boost. Which means it's over, Melanoma. You're done. I've done it, and my power is still emanating me. It's not an emulator glitch.
bitch. I did it! I became the strongest in the world. Well, I became the strongest human. But there are other trainers that are not quite human, right? Bow a door with a note next to it that says, Final boss room. Don't enter. Well, it's a good thing I can't read. Let's go! Okay! Seda fight time! How did I get here? She leads with a fracture. I'm very glad that's not the big boy version of this. I think I should be able to deal with this pretty okay. Oh, are you trying to set up on me? You get like, a greedy little boy. You're a greedy little fracture, aren't you? Well, you know what they say about greedy boys. Greedy boys die. Oh, no! Seda has a deer link. Gosh, Seda, there's a reason you're the strongest trainer in this Vimeo game. We're barely hanging on for dear life, but we're still winning for now. Oh, Persian. How nice. Wait, doesn't Persian have slow start in this randomization? Oh, no. Oh, Persian. Oh, buddy, I am so sorry. Good thing I have. Ah! He had to take you out. I hate hitting cats. Leo's gonna be so mad at me. Oh, a pin churchin up next. What's up with this randomization and pin churchins? That tactical miss because I meant to. It's evasiveness road sharply. Oh no, don't start this. Absolutely not, sir. I don't think so. Oh my God. The probability of you winning is zero. Yeah, I mean, you've been doing so well so far. Oh, Minecraft. Fortunately, I have the perfect counter to a Minecraft player. Steve, the angry older brother. What are you gonna do to Steve? Rake quake the earth? Ooh, that was some good damage, but it's not enough to save you. Steve, the angry older brother who punches walls when he gets mad at Halo 3 has victory won. And that is the Pokemon Scarlet randomization Nuzlocke experience. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you made it this far in the video. You watched the whole thing, so you might as well.